Do you get frustrated shopping for jeans? Don't worry, you are in the right place. I'm going to give you five must know tips before shopping for your next pair. Welcome, my name is Abby. I give and showcase tons of Amazon fashion and I also give out lots of style tips. If you are in the market for a good pair of jeans, I have a ton linked below from my Amazon storefront. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a member of my community. Now, let's kick off the first of the tips with the cut of jean because to be honest, there are a lot of different cuts of jeans. So there's like flare, boot cut, wide, straight, skinny. I mean, just to name a few. And there are a lot of different body types. So you really wanna choose a cut of jeans that is really going to complement your shape. For example, if you already know your body shape, so say for instance, your pair shape, which means that your hips and measurement are going to be wider than your shoulders, a pair of bootcut jeans is going to look absolutely stunning on you. Or another example can be if you are an hourglass figure or somebody with a really curvy body figure, a pair of jeans that is going to fit almost like a curvy style is going to be a much better fit for you than just like a regular fit in the waist. So it really does depend on, like I said, your body shape and what types of features on your body you want to highlight or maybe like i said balance out the next tip i have is your rise of the pant so before you go shopping for pants you want to know what the rise you're going to choose is so if you don't know what rise is it's simply just the measurement between the top of the pant and where the crotch begins and so with the rise it's important because it's where somebody is going to perceive your waistline to be. So wherever it's going to you know, begin is where the onlooker's eye is going to go. You also wanna keep in mind comfort and also preference as well. So there are three different types of rise, low, medium, and high. And really you wanna pay attention to whatever your torso length actually is. So your torso can be short, medium, or long. Um, and so what happens is if you choose a pair of jeans that are low rise, it's going to make your legs look shorter and your torso longer. And then inversely, if you have a pair of high rise pants, that's going to make your torso look shorter and your legs look longer. And so you really wanna pay attention to what you want to actually achieve when you are you know, picking a pair of high rise or low rise. For me, I love me a good pair of high rise jeans. My torso is pretty neutral, it's pretty normal, so I can really kind of bounce between medium and high rise. You can always just go with medium or mid rise and it's pretty much a safe bet. However, do keep in mind if your torso length is pretty short, a pair of mid rise pair of jeans may end up just looking like high rise jeans on you. So one thing to pay attention to before you shop for your jeans is going to be the length of the jean because different cuts of jeans are going to look good at different places on your specific height. So take for instance, a pair of wide leg jeans is going to look really good when it's like nearly skimming the floor, maybe hitting the top of your foot. Also maybe like a pair of crop jeans are going to look good pretty much like maybe an inch to three inches right above your ankle bone. So just keep that in mind. One simple thing that you can do before you go and shop for your jeans is going to be look at the inseam length. The inseam length is really going to be a great tool to use. So that is going to be the measurement from the crotch down to the end or the actual pant leg. And so that distance is going to tell you where and how long it's going to fit on you specifically. Another thing you wanna keep in mind also is what shoes you're gonna be pairing with these pair of jeans. So for instance, have you ever had a pair of jeans that just were too long on you and all you did was simply add a pair of heels? So that's just one example of, you know, something that you can easily do to fix maybe a pair that's that are too long. However, if you are trying to get that ideal length, 
just keep whatever shoes that you wanna pair with them in mind. The next thing to look out for when shopping for jeans is going to be the pocket placement and pocket size because nothing looks more cheap than a pair of jeans that the pockets just don't look good. So for example, if you have a pair of pockets that are too high or too low or maybe too far apart, those can end up, like I said, looking a little bit cheap. So the ideal placement is going to be right and center. And so that way you, it makes your bum look a little bit more round and a little bit more proportional. Same thing with the pocket size. So of course you want the pocket size to be not too big, not too small, but of course just right like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, so then that end up again, making your bum look nice, proportional and round. And then last but not least, is going to be the zipper length and again this is one thing that can really cheapen the look of your jeans and so you really want to work out for the actual length of the zipper and where the crotch actually is so if there is a large gap between where your zipper fly ends and where the crotch begins, that can actually cheapen the look. Don't get me wrong, I definitely have a pair of these. They just like don't fit and they just don't look good. So the ideal space is going to be where the zipper fly nearly meets the base of the jean. And then that way it gives a more proportional look and honestly, a better fit. If you are looking for a great pair of denim, I have a ton linked on my Amazon storefront. I also have a ton linked below in the description box as well. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, I would be so grateful to have you a part of my community. Thank you so much for watching, bye.